looks like another all-metal airplane. Yep, it's one of the uh, Technum line of all-metal airplanes. The P-2008 has some, a lot of composite on it, but the tradition in Technum has been all-metal, and indeed, that's what this construction here is. And this is the P-2002 Sierra. It's their low-wing entry in the LSA sweepstakes. Now, this is, again, another side-by-side -side seating airplane? Yep, this is a side-by-side. -side. That's all, all what Technum has are all side-by-side. -side. But one of the nice things I like about this airplane, Dave, I'm kind of a high-wing guy, but this is a low-wing I really like. And here's the main reason why. It has to do with this sliding canopy here. It moves back and forth very easily, but it also can be opened in flight. And for us old ultralight guys, or anybody that enjoys an open cockpit airplane, well, here you have kind of the best of both worlds. Fully close her up and be nice and comfortable if you're up at altitude and cruising along at speed. But if you're just out for a nice joy ride on a pretty day like today, pull that canopy back. You can have it all the way back. You can do that in flight. I'm not sure if they can do it at the very highest speed, but I suspect you can. But I know at a more uh, normal cruise speed, canopy open, you can stick your hands out, you can really enjoy the flight in this airplane. It's one of the nice qualities of the Sierra. A little different to get in the Sierra than a high wing airplane. You don't just turn around and sit down. You got to get up on this wing somehow like I'm sitting. But different than many low wings, the entry here is from the front. There's a step right there. So one step up, of course you're to avoid the leading edge here as it's clearly marked. But you can use the very sturdy canopy here as a handhold to get into the airplane. So this makes entry for a lot of people a little easier than entering over the back where you've generally got a long step to get up to the uh, okay part of the wing where you can stand on it. So where do they keep the fuel in this airplane yeah. Well, this one's all held in the wings here. And if you bring your camera down, follow my hand, the usual GA type uh, uh, fuel filler right on top, uh, pull it up. Of course, this was lockable, you see too, so you can keep the bad stuff out and only use it when you want to use it. That's good. And we've got 13 gallons per side in this airplane, 26 total. It's going to give you a cruise of it, uh, endurance of at least five hours. And frankly, that's more time than I want to sit in an airplane without a rest break. So it's all you need, I believe. It'll take you a long way. And one of the things that I like about this airplane, Dan, is that you do have access to the engine compartment. A lot of these airplanes, it takes you 20 minutes to get into that engine compartment. Yeah, you got to have a tool and you're doing uh, fastener after fastener to get in. But look at this here, just two easy two easy connections. I can do them both on the same side here. They pivot down. They're very nice connectors. And then you just open it up like the hood of a car. You've even got a little latch up here to hold it up, which I don't seem to be able to operate, but there it is. And here's the nice compact and sanitary installation that the Technum engineers have done. Uh, I've seen the work of this company over a number of years, and boy, they have got some crack engineering, and it shows in the installation of that engine. And that's the Rotax uh, 100 horse that they're using? Yep, this is that uh, old famous 912 uh, ULS that produces 100 horsepower, scoots this airplane quite along at uh, probably about 115 knot cruise in this airplane. And uh, that'll get you around the country real well. Real well. Now again, this has almost got a, a car-like uh, feel to it when you look at it. Well, it's really nicely finished inside, and they use some of these uh, vacuum form panels. And the beauty of it is it finishes off the airplane very well, but it's very light. Instead of having heavy components in there that affect the weight of the airplane just to make it look nice, they get both nice looks and, light and low weight at the same time. And here we got a really well-equipped panel. We've got a, a pretty full complement of analog gauges, which appeals to those folks that aren't used to electronic, but you got electronic as well. So sort of the best of both worlds in this particular Sierra that we're looking at here today. It looks like the control systems is similar to all of their airplanes. Yeah, well, you know, that would be a logical way. Here they've gone from a high wing to a low wing, so it's clearly a whole different design. But you use the component parts that you found work well, and so indeed, uh, the dual joystick arrangement, and you've got a center throttle, but you've also over here on the pilot uh, PIC side, you've got a left hand throttle, which I really like in an airplane. There's a time when you want to just keep your hand on the joystick and not have to swap hands just so you can adjust the uh, power, power setting. So this allows you to do that very easily. And again, it looks like the seats are adjustable. Yep, seats adjust the same way with that little sliding knob to the side here, just like the Bravo that we looked at earlier. Seats go back and forth over a pretty good range in here. And other features you've got is your flap, uh, electric flap right here, throttle, your friction lock. Down here in the center console, you've got your fuel controls and you've got your parking brake lock. And then if you can take your camera and move it toward the aft here, we once again have quite a bit of space behind the seats here. You can carry some luggage with you and a little hat rack behind that where they literally have some hats. So. It's a nice little airplane, and for the low-wing uh, uh, enthusiast, here's a really good choice from Technum of Italy. And again, you've got great visibility on this airplane. 
It's, you know, one of the things about a sliding canopy uh, and, and a whole glass top like this is you got great upward visibility on a pretty day, you're just going to really enjoy it. But then I get back to that bit about wanting to just open the canopy and have it wide open ahead of me and you can do that. So if we want to get more information on that, where do we go? This airplane is represented here at the Midwest LSA Expo by uh, the Heart of Virginia organization. So their website is Fly H O V A, Heart of Virginia, so H O V A, flyhova.com. Now, do you have a flight report on this as well, Dan? I do. I have gotten to fly uh, several of the Technums in the P in the uh, P2002 Sierra is one of them, so you can find that on my website, which is bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. <laughs>